hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video you're going to learn how to create graphs and charts in arcmap and how to add them to your map so you might need to create a chart or a graph when you have some data on your map and you wanna you want to give more information about it you want to explain some trends how things are changing so i'm going to use some sample data here to show you that so what we have here is a map of nairobi county and the boundaries you're seeing are the sub counties so i have created some mock data here of the number of roads per sub county so i'm going to create a graph based on the number of roads so uh, apart from seeing the map, a user can be able to see the graph or a pie chart which gives more information. This is something you can even use it in your other reports. It can be added to the map or it can be used for other things like in your reports. So I'm going to show you what my attribute table has. And you can see uh, I've added a new field here called number of roads which has integer values and this is the mock data that I was talking about showing the number of roads per sub county so what I want to show is how to create a pie chart or a graph based on this data so I might want to create a graph showing me the number of roads per county and assuming I want to visualize that using something other than the map I can use the chart so to do that from the attribute table we have this icon here click on this drop down and down here we have this option of create graph so this is the one that we're going to use so I'm going to click on it So here under the graph type, you specify which type of graph you want to create depending on what you are trying to represent or and what is more meaningful to the user. You can choose whatever you want to choose. So it depends also with the data. Like the line graph, you it's mostly used for things like rainfall data temperature things like that if you're showing the change of rainfall and temperature histogram is mainly used for raster data show the pixel values and you can also use the area graphs to show the area of an whatever data you're mapping so it really depends on whatever data you're mapping so for example scatter plot it's used to show the representations of how your data is varying how close they are together or how far they are from each other so i'm going to try the pie chart which for me is what i'd like to add to my map so the layer that i'm um, going to create this chart out of is the Nairobi sub counties so this is where you choose your layer and then the field in which you want to use so I'm going to use the number of roads so you can already see it's show it's already drawing it from me so here you can see the preview of what you're going to get and you can see the different values that we have so Nairobi has about 16 sub counties and that's why we have about 16 values and you can decide to sort your your graph based on a field for example if I decide to sort with ID that is what I get if I decide to sort with maybe number of roads 
now it's going to sort based on the number of rods so like right now you see it's ascending so it's from the smallest value to the highest value and of course i can change it should be the other way around so if you want to create labels you need to choose the label field so that is going to be the you have to check which one has the best labels like in this case you can see it's admin 2n which has the name names for the sub counties so that's what i'm going to choose here so now you can see i have the value for each sub county and the name which is very good because from just seeing this someone can tell what you're trying to do so something else you can decide to show the labels on the legend which is already marked here or you can decide to show these labels just around the graph so if i click on show labels you see it kind of sh it shows them on the pie chart which is not in this case it's not good because there's so many labels so there's so many they become disorganized because now they they're too many so in this case because we have so many values we rather just show them in the legend just like that and this is where we choose the color of the pie chart obviously just having it like this doesn't look really nice because it's just plain you can match the colors with a layer or you can use a color palette so under this drop down you can choose a palette or custom so if i choose palette this is the default that it's going to take so now at least when i see the purple color i can tell that it's around kibra area and you can choose which type you want to use if it's classic so you can change like that so now when someone sees a particular color they can tell which sub county it is and the value of that sub county you can change the the total angle right now it's by default it's 360 because yeah a circle it adds up to 360 degrees but you can reduce it you can also rotate it and you can explode the biggest slice you can decide to remove the border that way or if you're okay with it you can add it so now we have this this is now a graph a pie chart graph and this is something good to add your to your map it gives more information to the user so if i say next this is where i choose to either show all features or records on the graph that is for that layer or you can only make a graph out of selected features so if you only want to show the graph for a few features you can use this option where you only show only the selected features so that means my pie chart will only be based on the selected features not all features you get to change your title here like I can say Ruby something like that you can put a footer like Nairobi and you can see we have the footer here if you want to try having a 3d view you can turn it on so now you can see the 3d view you can have a legend title for this legend for example just saying legend so now you can see it and if it's I think it's better if you the alignment in which I choose but I like having it at the center so uh -huh. okay this is the position of the legend which is the whole legend it can be on the left like right now it's on the right of the pie chart so if we put it on the left it comes on the left side can be top like that or it can be at the bottom 
here so depending on what you prefer I feel like this one looks a bit better you can now see the 3d well and this other settings here they are all to do with the axis properties so now if we say finish that means our the chart is ready so we have it in 3d like that and whenever you've reached this stage and you feel like you want to change something you can always right click and you can come to either properties or advanced properties so for properties you change the these few things the series how it looks like if you want to change the label field the value field things like these ones you can change here and the appearance so if you no longer want it in 3d you can just move it sorry and then we apply so now it's no longer in 3d but i think it's it just looks better in 3d now for advanced properties you get to change way more properties so when you come to general here yeah, you can change from mouse zoom scroll and especially the fonts you can control here the fonts that are used you can change the colors you can change title legend anything really here you can put even the background colors if you want to so but the thing is after you are here your pie chart is ready so once you are satisfied with everything how to add this to your map is the first saving it so you can always add it So now this is number of roads, a graph file. So let's close the attribute table. So now if I want to add it to the map, I can copy it as a graphic or I can say add to layout if I'm already on a layout view. And right now you can see I'm on the data view. So if I want to, I can just say copy as graphic, close it. When I go to layout view, this is currently what I have in my map. So I can paste it. So yeah, that's it. so you can switch it out as much as you want and find a way of fitting it in your map so the way Nairobi is it looks way better in the landscape map so we, you can change the layout of course to landscape so this is better now I'll paste it again. So basically this is how you add graphs. So if you are creating a line graph, a uh, bar graph, anything, this is how you would add it to your map. And also insert it as an object so it's not object I think we can we actually view graph so because we have already created the graph we can just see it here from the recent ones so if now i say add to layout right now and i'm already on layout view i can easily add it to map so if i say add to layout now you can see it's here which again you can stretch it out to the best 
have this so you can just delete the other one then we have this which looks fair of course you can manipulate your pie chart to look even way better than mine is and you can see this there's so many points but assuming you have less data than this you can be able to view the pie chart really well anyway the point of this lesson was to show you how to add a pie chart to a map so now you know how to do that and this is the end of this tutorial thank you so much for watching